Here is a prayer line section of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, where God's Spirit is the force behind His Word. God's service is more than mere preaching or teaching, but it is of power. As wise man Christopher moves with the force of God, see the manifestation of the evil spirit in the life of this lady. Watch how the evil spirit that made her to be winding around is conquered in Jesus' name. Fly in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, Holy Ghost. Fly in the name of Jesus Christ, you demon. Fly in the name of Jesus. Who are you? Why are you asking me again? I told you before. I'm the curse in the family. That is number one. Who is number two? There's a man in the family. I do. Who is number three? A snake. And who is number four? A husband. As a snake. What have you done to this lady? A career. Yeah. I destroyed a career. What have you done to the family members? I have no business with a family. Why do you choose to destroy her? She's supposed to be a nurse. So. Hmm? For what? So I cancel that result. She can't read. Whenever she wants to read, I will just go on her head and sit down. She can't read. When you sit on her head, what will happen to her? She can't read now. If she reads, she will forget. She will be lazy. She will be lazy. can't read. As an idol, what have you done to her? They're supposed to save me. So what have you done to them? I cast them bad luck. What is happening to them? Their career, their marriages. Marriage. They're moving in circles. Who is the cause? The idol. From the father's side. And from the mother's side. Open your eyes. Look at these people. Look at the first lady. Look at her. Who is she to you? They are parts of the bad luck. Speak louder. They are parts of the bad luck. Look at the next lady. Who is she to you? This one is a cause to the family. We send her to come and destroy the family. Who? Which one? This one. She's an agent. We send her to come and destroy the family. We turn her in the anything. womb. I, mean, I, mean, I do. Who is she to you? She's my younger sister. My other sister. Did you hear that? They are all bad luck, as in. They will not get married. Pet price? No, never. If you get married, you can make it better to a son or a child, any whatever. But pet price? No. Aksa, the other sister, she's somewhere. We don't even know. We just send her out of the house. She has two kids for pet price. Yes, sir. Uh, it's true. What can you say about that? Uh, my elder sister, she's a doctor by profession, and she has two children for a guy, and they've not paid the dowry, nothing. Even fight with the mom. She calls the mom. She calls the mom. Call the mom. Wish. Yes. Who is the cause? The cause. The other one. This is my other sister. This is my other sister. This is one that gets married. Two kids, but no bright prize. Is it the one they are talking about? Which one? This one has two kids. Two kids, but no bad prize. This one got married five months ago and she came back. Yes, the cars. Mm -hmm. I was sent in an era, I don't know. I just asked to follow them. And that's it. Now, how did you enter this lady? Right from when she was born. What she's saying is true because we school in Delta State University. Both of us, we are in the same hostel. Each time I tell her about suitors that come to me, before you know, they'll just run away. Anything you tell her, it will not come to pass again. And she's very secretive. She doesn't tell anybody anything about her. That is her. I want to go. Mm -hmm. I have a business here. Ooh, fire, fire. What is in this place that is against you, demons? Ooh, fire, oh, hush. Uh, oh. How many demonic powers do you have in this body? How many? Right now, your mission has come to an end. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Get out. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Now move like a snake. Serpiente de ídolo, de maldición, esposo espiritual que han destruido su vida, la vida de su familia, sus hermanas, destruyendo su academia.
podemos ver la manifestación de esa serpiente, espíritu serpiente en la mujer, en esta mujer. Now get out. Come out of her, you demon. Out. Remove the rings. Remove them. Removing the spirit. What are you removing? Speak louder. What are you removing? Rings. 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 From your head to your toe, everything that belongs to you, remove them. Find the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are delivered. Thank you, Jesus. How are you? I'm fine. Could you remember what you said? Mm, not really. Yeah. I know I said something, but I can't recall. You said that you're a snake with other four demons in your body. No, no. Hmm? Mm -mm. This is your sister. Yeah, my other sister. And this is your younger sister. My younger one next to me, yeah. Her past is over. So, glory be to God, she is completely delivered. And she is a new creation. Okay? All things pass away. Nobody should use what she has said against her. That demonic being that spoke is cast out by Jesus and now she's free. If you say what he has said or use it against her, you will be tempted. So we pray that you will not be tempted in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. My sister is free. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. All over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Send up. Who are you? I'm from the water. What is your mission? To monitor the family. What have you done to the family so far? No marriage. No matrimonio. Sisters come and go. Fracaso. No good luck. No Query no all over everywhere. What have you done to this lady? She's very bright. Too. I've destroyed her. No good people come away. She travel a lot. She followed friends. How did you enter her body? When she was born. Yeah. Her mother she wear the placenta in the river. What is your business with the placenta? That's what we use against her. Ever since you used it, what has been happening to her? She's rude. She's stubborn. She doesn't hear anything you tell her. She's a hysterica. Nothing. All what she wants is what she wants to do. Who made her to be so? Me. Why? Because I love her. This is not a place you can live. This is the temple of the Spirit of God. Open your eyes and look at these people. Who are they to you? I don't know. Look at this one. I don't know her. Look at this one. I don't know. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. She's my younger sister. My younger sister. Yeah, she's very stubborn. She doesn't even go to school. She's very insultive, aggressive. She don't have respect for anybody, even my mom, my dad. She fights with my mom. She goes to club. She follows friends. She goes to club every day from Monday to Sunday. She doesn't stay at home. She's, uh, all her body is full with tattoo and all that. She has she have in her waist, her breasts, all of her body is tattoo. What can you say about her? Yeah, same thing, just what my sister said. Most of the injuries in my body, she gave them to me. She, Most of the injuries you have, yeah. she gave them to you. Whenever she's angry, break bottle, knife, anything in her hand, she might even break the tail in the sitting room, stuff like that. Who made her to possess this kind of attitude? From the water. Since you are a stranger, get out. Mm. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, Holy Ghost. Fire! Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of this body, you demon. Now go. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
Stand up. Libre en el nombre de Jesucristo, es el espíritu marino, destruyó su vida, siendo un agente de Satanás, monitoreando la familia. How are you? Destruyendo. Oh, Open your eyes and look at these people. Who is this lady to you? My younger sister. This is your sister, My and this is your sister. sister. Can you see? Her past is over. Do not use what she confessed in the past against her. Otherwise, anybody here or somewhere will be tempted. So she's free, she's free. And you too, you are free. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. We are delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. My name is Sophia Tebekaimi. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Delta State. And the lady standing beside me is my sister. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations was it started when I was growing up at the very tender age of five and six. That was when I started seeing a man coming to make love to me in the dream. I see myself in the water as a fish, eating with people. So when I was growing up, it became worse. I, I see myself as a princess making my hair in the water and things like that. So it got to an extent when I was in secondary school, I wanted to sit for junior, for senior work and so, so my parents could not afford it and I decided to go into a relationship. But in the process of going into a relationship, my relationship don't work out. The guys might come out and they say, I'm a snake, I came to save them in the dream, I fight with them in the dream as a man made or stuff like that. So in the process of that, I started going to other churches. I started going to churches for deliverance. I went to several churches. It going to an extent I went to a spiritualist. He told me that I was suffering from spirit husband, that I should go and serve the spirit husband. So he told me to do some concussion. So after doing it for me, the night, the same night, the spirit husband came again. This time he came back with two men who he was worst. So from there, I started going to another churches, different places. I started meeting different spiritualists. So one just called me and told me that most of the girls out there, they don't make it like that. That they used to give them something. That that is how most of them used to make it. So he called me to his office and told me that he's going to give me something to wear in my eyes, to rub in my lip, and in my, all over my body. That any man I talk to, anything I tell them, that's what they are going to do for me. So of of which he gave me. So there's the one he gave me, I rub in my lip, in my eyes, and all over my body. As soon as I walk past, any man around that area, anywhere at all, the person must say, ah, this girl, I must go out with this person. So that was how I was doing it. <clears throat> so it came to a stand, it became worse, started going to club, different people, because the urge for men were just too much. So I had experience, a, I can't tell with someone, which I was arrested, and... I slept in the cell for three days or so. So in the process, the first night, something came inside of me. I was so strong. I could talk to the policemen any I like. I fight with them. And ever since I left the station, it became worse. I started stealing. So how would you go about using these charms that the spiritualists gave you to attract men and in the same way also steal from them? Okay, there's the one, the one in my eyes. Whenever I wear it, I just look directly to your eyes. I blink my eyes and bend my lip. And the next thing you say, ah, you have sexy eyes. And that means you've already fall for the sham. Maybe you might go to the hotel and after I shake hands, I might deceive you, tell you something to go downstairs to get something. And one thing the spirit normally does, I know wherever the money is. Men looking at the room, I will just know that this is a place. So what I do, I get the money, their phones, and... I will just leave. I'm clean. Whenever I go, I dress my shirt and everything. So there just, nobody asks me any question. And that was what I normally do. So the men that uh, invite you to meet them in a hotel, after meeting them, as they are not there, you would now steal their money and you would know where their money was kept. That spirit would tell you where the money was kept. Yes, yes. So even some of them, I would just lock them in the bathroom, increase the volume of the TV, and I would just go like that. So that was what I was doing. So you understand what our sister is saying? She would, uh, after meeting with the man, she would lock him in the bathroom, then increase the volume of the television, and then steal his money. And such money, what were you using it for? And normally, I would use them to buy clothes, buy things. But the funniest part, even though I keep the money, I might go there, only in the house, the money will vanish. Even the clothes I spread on the roof, if I go pick them the next morning, I won't find them there. So that was it. So 
during this period, that was how you were getting money, by meeting these men, stealing from them, and sleeping with them. Is that right? Yes, yes, that was it. Okay. So can you just explain more about how this problem really affected not only yourself, but the whole family? Yeah. The spirit, it affected my family so much. Even sometimes, after stealing, the people would know that I collected their this thing, then they'll come to the house and tell my people that look at what happened, I would just deny and because I'm very quiet in the house, so my mom will always fight for me that this thing doesn't happen and things like that. So that was it. So even your parents did not know what you were doing? Yes, because I'm very quiet in the house. Because so when you're in the house, tell us, what is your behavior in the house when you're with your parents compared to your behavior outside? When I'm in the house, I'm very quiet, I'm obedient, I'm very good, but whenever I'm outside, the thing just come inside of me and that's it, I misbehave. And you said that you were going to clubs. How, what would you do when you're in clubs to attract men to be able to sleep with them? What would yeah, you do? If I go to the club before going, I wear the one in my lip and in my eyes and all over my body. So any man I just walk past to say, ah, this girl, I want to go with this person. And we normally talk, how much would you give me for a night and things like that. So we just go home. So that was it. That was what I was doing. The spirit affected me so bad. Then the one of stealing, it was so worse because I'm even tempted sometimes to take something. After buying a thing of 20,000, I might take something of 15 naira. So it was so very bad. And sometime last year, ending of last year, my elder sister came because in the house we don't get married. That was a problem facing everybody in the family. So my elder sister came here and she got anointing water. So when I got home, my mom said I should spray, of which I spray, I manifested so badly. And that was when I came before I got my deliverance. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. But when I came here, I was sitting far that way, but when Wiseman and Christopher was there, I started running out. So they would bring me back for like two occasions, and he prayed for me, and the spirit that was inside of me left. That was it. Wow, glory be to God Almighty. And just tell us, ever since your deliverance, what is your testimony now? What is the changes you've seen in your life? I've seen a lot of changes because... Normally, if the spirit comes, I don't know, just come inside of me and I'll just pick up my things and leave the house. But this, like when I was sleeping, I saw the three snakes when they left my body. And ever, I know because I'm come of calm and everything. I feel it. that I'm really delivered. I knew. So you mean after your deliverance, you had a dream. What happened in the dream after your deliverance? I saw the snakes. There were three snakes. Two big ones, one green one and a tiny one. So they all came out from my body. I killed two. I chased the rest of them and they ran into the bush. That was it. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That is the confirmation of the deliverance she received. And sister, you said before you were stealing, uh, you were lying, you were meeting men and using the powers that you obtained from the witch doctor to uh, seduce and attract men. Ever since your deliverance, what can you say now about those areas. Do you still have that spirit pushing you to steal, to lie, to meet with men? No, no. I haven't fe- no, I have not seen it. No, I have not failed it. Nothing. I'm free. Glory be to God Almighty. We thank Jesus Christ for your life. And uh, I think you're in a very wonderful position to advise young people around the world. You're a young lady, only 21 years old, with your experiences in life uh, all the time before with this evil spirit, and now you're delivered. What do you want to advise uh, young people around the world watching you right now on Emmanuel TV? My advice to them is to tell them that there's nothing there in the world. Everything belongs to God. That they should come to God, pray to God, He answers prayer. That definitely there's going to be a time He's going to answer them. It's just a matter of them taking time and be patient. That's it. And how did this affect your education when you're living this kind of lifestyle? It affected my education so bad. Like what the demon said in me, I wrote exam like four years back, and when I went to collect the original result, I was told the result was cancelled. So because of that, I couldn't gain admission. Okay, fine. I was doing a program. I'm going, to, I'm sleeping with men just to get money to train myself in school. That was the main reason, like what I said. But still, I can't read in school. I, I hate school, in fact. I can't go to school. Even the courses I pay, after paying people to write them, I'll still go pay the lecturer. But at the end of the day, I'll still get the course carry over. And in fact, the script will be missing. So that was the problem I was facing in school, yes. And uh, right now, we'd just like to hear from your sister as well, who we know was also privileged to receive a mighty deliverance alongside you the day she came. So sister, you're welcome. Tell us your name and where you're from. Emmanuel. My name is Faith Ibekaimi. I'm from Delta State. I'm 18 years old now. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is the cause of the family and spirit husband. 
when I was small, I was stubborn. Anything you do tell me, that's not what I would do. It was in my mind. That's what I'm going to do. As in a fight, my mate can't even beat me because if you're there, I'm going to shook you, do something crazy to you before I can get myself at that moment. So there was a day I just woke up and just left to see my friend. So that day my friend started introducing me to men that, ah, come here, you know your house, there's no money, you guys are suffering, so you come and sleep with men so you have money to take care of yourself. And how, how old were you when you started this? 14. So then she started introducing me to men. I do sleep with them for money, they give me money. Time goes on, she, she do carry me to different men, so sometimes we do go to the club. We won't get to the club, like, we won't go to the club. I do meet men, they'll tell me, like, what's up, how much can you take for the night? I'll say, yeah, you're gonna pay me so so I'm out then I do go with them. So, as the time goes on, she said, ah, we're not making good money out of this. Let's go to meet a spiritualist that can help us so that we can have my money. So, she take me to a spiritualist when he gave me something to use. It was like, a, it's a spirit husband that is causing the bad luck on me. Like, I should do this sham that anywhere I go to, men will give me anything I ask. Like, I should cut it, he cut it on my forehead, the one on my lips. Like, whenever I go to anywhere, if I go to anywhere, if we are 10 in numbers, I will be the first person a man will talk to. Like, ah, you're beautiful, please, can I have your number, stuff like that. So, from there, we started sleeping with men. I traveled to different cities to meet men, things like that. So, and I met, she now introduced me to kind of friends, they're like, ah, if we don't make, if we must join a cult before, making friends with us. I said, sorry, I can't do that. They were like, you must accept you stop going out with us. Then I need the money. I like the things out there, clubbing. Everything was nice there, the spirit. Most times I sleep with men. I was like, oh, God, why did I do this thing? But I don't know whenever I do it. Finish doing it, that's why I recall myself that, oh, God, I, I've done something so bad. Then I would start crying. She was like, why are you, are you crazy? Why are you crying? You are doing like a baby. I'm going to push you out here. Then I would still give myself the strength to stay with them, stuff like that. And you said that you actually, your friends told you to join a cult, is that right? Yeah. So just tell us, what, what happened? You mean you're initiating into, into this cult? In the initiation, like, they have a different procedure. Like, if you can, uh, some, they say the guys will sleep with you, and when they finish sleeping with you, they will beat you, then you're initiated. And the other one, if you pay money. Like me, I don't need anything on my body, so I pay them money. And they make her hold like uh, anything you see here, you won't say it outside. And they cut my hand and they took a hold with my blood. So, what uh, did they ask you to do in that cult to show that you are part of that cult? The cult is, is that the girls, they are big. Like they said, let me draw this, this tattoo over here. And this is the name they gave, gave to me in my cult, Asa. That's the name I draw here. So they told you that you should uh, put this tattoo to show that you are part of that cult? Yeah, yeah. And how old were you when they joined this cult? I was 16. 16 years old. And uh, we saw uh, as well, do you mean to say that there are other tattoos in your body as well? Yeah, the other one, yeah, is just a dollar sign. Like, if I like, I should draw anything on my own opinion. So that's when I draw this one as a dollar sign. Okay, so, so her sister is saying that when she joined that cult, she was told to wear a tattoo, and they gave her the name of Asa, which was tattooed on her body. And they also said, if you want to make any other tattoo, you can. So she chose to make a, a sign of a dollar, uh, a sign of money as a tattoo on her body. And just, just tell us, why did you choose this tattoo of a dollar sign? Why did you choose to make a tattoo with, with money like that on your body? Because when I was in the streets, like... I just decided, because no relationship do work, I just decided, oh, what I need in my life is money. With money, you are okay. So that's a sign of dollar, money. So you just believe that you just, as long as you could get money, you'd be okay, that everything about you was just to get money, meet men, sleep with them, and get money. Yeah. And tell us, such money, what would you actually be using it for? Would you use it for anything profitable? The best, the money, we use it to get drink, get at the club. We drink buy clothes, travel, go to the best place to enjoy ourselves, and that's it. So you were never actually able to use the money for anything really profitable. You would just use it for drinking, smoking, buying clothes, and then the money would, would go. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so now tell us, in the course of your meeting men, what other things did you begin to do to such men in order to obtain money from them? Like, then a day, I just walk up to a guy and I saw money on his table. The spirit just walk up to me like, take this money. So the day I took that money, since that day, I started collecting money from guys. You can drop your money. Ah, there's no way you drop your money. I won't know that there is money there. I would go there, I would take the money, finish taking the money. My friends, my dad, they were like, money is missing. They would come to me, they were like, sorry, they can't even believe that I'm the one to take the money, that my look is too innocent for me to take this money. Then they would start accusing someone else. So you mean the men that you would sleep with after sleeping with them and they would pay you for sleeping with them, you would as well steal their money? Yes. And they never suspected that you were the one? Yes. Okay, so just tell us, as you were continuing this kind of lifestyle, I mean... You mean to say that you left your home at the age of 14? What yeah, I just left saying? my home. They were all looking for me, but I couldn't give them my address where I am. So right from the age of 14, you left your house and were moving around, sleeping with men to get money and moving out with friends? Yeah. Okay, and each time you go to the club, what do you do to attract men for them to meet with you? Like me, I know how to dance very well. When I start dancing in the club, all guys were like... They want to fight. They'll be fighting just to get me. Uh, tell us, did you also have any experiences in this course of prostitution that you will never forget? Maybe you encountered a man that wanted to do something to you, like your sister said earlier, in terms of rituals. What, what did, encounter do you have during that period? Yeah, I, I have a cancer that I will never forget. There is a day, three of my friends, they call them, like, they should come with girls. So I was among. So when in the vehicle, they shattered. So when going, the next thing I found myself, I was in a bush where we are all naked with the pants and bra, tying our hair, they were pricing each of the head is 500,000. I was like, God, ah, this is the day I'm going to die. I was like, just praying for God to forgive me my sin, not to even save me, just to forgive me my sin. The next means I was praying, and I didn't knew, when I came back, my mom told me that the same night, she has a dream that they want to kill me. She was even praying, you know? So I was just praying. I don't even know what happened. The guys that they are killer, they are huge. They came. They are head of human beings, babies, school bag, uniforms, everything were there. They were like, I don't even know what happened. The guy that carried out the vehicle, like, you guys, your head is not good. You just cause us bad luck. People should start. After 12 in the night, we were running in the bush and rain was falling. That's the way we escaped. And all these market women that was going, they gave us rapper to tie the next money down to our side. These are the kind of experiences. And what of in terms of, uh, as a prostitute, when you were meeting men, did you ever have an encounter with a man in a hotel where something like that happened as well? No, the account I met with a man that, that said he's a pastor, that, um, like I said, uh, I'm looking beautiful, I'm nice, I'm good to do this job for him. It was like, he said he's a pastor, he do go to program and preach, that used to see vision, stuff like that, that he would take me, and I introduced me to, to some girls that they work with him. Like, he would tell me what to do, that I would go to the church and sit, they would, the guests would take me to, close to a man that has money, through there, then I can talk to the man, I collected his phone number, noting his name, then I'll come and tell him that, this is my name, then he can go to the program and say, who is so, 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 yeah, please come as this is your phone number. Then he can make any huge amount of money from the person, the person will give to them. So that was the plan that that man who claimed to be a pastor had with you, that you would come to the church, befriend someone there, collect their details, yeah. give them to that man, and then he, in public he would now supposedly prophesy about it and, uh, the, in order to get money from that man. Yeah. But then the process of uh, me doing the work for him, he traveled out of the country. So when he came back, me, I was not around. He called me. I said, please, I'm not around. Then he said, okay, don't worry. I'll find someone else. So, did you ever try to stop this kind of lifestyle before you're coming to the yeah, synagogue? I, uh, yes, I've tried to stop, but no way, no way for me to stop. Due to when I will stop, I will bring my things back to the house, back to the house, things is not okay, no money, everybody is taking good care of themselves, things is, uh, then the spirit will just move again, what are you still doing here, look at you, you are hungry, yeah, good nothing to wear, then, then I will start going back to the street again. Okay, well, we can really understand from our sister what has been happening in her life. Just at 18 years old, this is what she's passed through. Uh, but we thank God Almighty that you're here today with your sister as a testimony to the glory of God. So tell us, uh, what happened when you came here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with your sister? 
when last year in November, my elder sister came here, she bought the anointing water and she took it home. She, like, everybody should spray it on yourself. So when I sprayed the anointing water on me, I dizzle, like, I stood up. So my friends would call me, like, ah, come, let's go out. I was just like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And most times I dream, I see pastors who telling me, this is not the way for you to enjoy your life. This is not the way for you to enjoy the life. So then, I just like, ah, there is no how. We must come to the synagogue. The presence of all coming here, everywhere was blocked since December. We were planning to come here. No money. I was not going to anywhere. No money, nothing, nothing. Like, after December, after New Year period, I was like, we must come. At the prayer line, after delivering my sister, then when, when it was done with my sister, it was coming close to me. It's like, there is fire all over him. I can't even look at him. I was just, I don't even know myself then. To when I stood up from the floor. So tell us, uh, sister, ever since your deliverance, what is your testimony? How has your life changed since My life was okay. I can see things anywhere. I don't even get interest about taking anything from anywhere. I'm okay. My friends do call me like, ah, where are you? I say, hello, don't call my number anymore. I'm not into that. It was like, wow, for you to change me, I'm going to change too. I'm going to come here. Because the kind of life I'm living too, I don't like it. So you mean your friends who are into the same lifestyle, because of the change in your life, said they also want to come to the synagogue church? Yes. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ for that wonderful change. And what about a spirit of lust, that spirit that would push you to be sleeping with men? How are you right now? Do you still have that spirit pushing you? No. And how have you been sleeping? Since my deliverance is almost going to two months, I don't even have the interest of meeting a man. Well, glory be to God Almighty. We thank Jesus Christ for your life and the life of your sister. And uh, I think you're in a position to really advise, once again, young people around the world. What do you really want to advise young people uh, who are watching you right now? Young people that they know they are poor, I just want to tell them that. And if anybody that deceived them, that let's come to the world, you will make money. The money you will make, there is no gain from it. You can't use it to do anything. And they will tell you, let's go to the, um, all these spiritualists to get. They are putting more bad luck into your life. There is nothing they can do for you. So you are advising people to embrace Jesus Christ and serve Yes, him. yes. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.